Hey guys, so Apple just came out with the uh, the Vision Pro. Pretend I'm wearing it right now. And this thing is just the biggest spyware ever made. It can see like what you're looking at. And you know, that has some serious, 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 like down the line, like Apple could be like, hey, uh, you know, they, they know what you purchase, you know, cause like Apple has a credit card. They know where you visit, like what websites you go to, what you search, all, et cetera, all that information. And I just think it's just too much. Like, you know, it's just, it's too much for, like it's too much power for Apple. Like if this thing really takes off and everybody is just wearing these goggles, like the amount of information that Apple has on every single individual is just, it's insane. It really is. And okay, so let's look at it. Let's look at the stock. And right now Apple stock is at 185.85. And here it is in the first, it's up maybe 2%. But this company has a market cap of $2.8 trillion. Yeah, um, that's a lot. But if you look at VR in 90s, like... Inside, looking out. Why is it here? I've got a joystick, That's I've got a helmet. That's right, and you just put the helmet on like that. Right. And of course you see that you have a gun in your hand and to fire the gun, you simply press the trigger. And I'll uh, get in and join you. Okay, come into my world, John. Linked by a computer that tracks our individual motions, Waldron and I are now both inside the same electronic world. There you are, hi. Hello there. <laughs> the game board consists of several checkerboard platforms floating in space. The goal to chase and shoot your opponent. I've got the gun in my hand here. I hate to do this to you right now. Get in and join you. Okay. On top of the gun, you simply yeah, press the trigger. We, we make gravity twice what it should be. You're gone. And then you just put the helmet. As the game proceeds, two prehistoric birds slip into view. If one picks you up by the scruff of your neck, the sense of flying can be all too realistic. I'm a little worried about that flying pterodactyl at this point. Oh, here comes the bird. Where's that bird? He's got you. He's got you again. Ah, he got me this time. Oh, my God. I, I think I have to take this helmet off. I'm physically feeling the space here. Welcome to the Vision Pro, Apple's most complex piece oh of hardware God. yet. And have we done the right thing? It is not a place to ask. It could be our legacy. Yes, the impact on society would be irreversible. We've dedicated our lives to science, which means that we understand progress. Maybe this is just another step. More like a leap. If we are going forward, who's going to test it? Yo, dudes, anybody got a video game? Is the world ready for these interactions? The world's first interactive game test that lets you feel the action. Oh, cool. What have we done? Yeah, you know, you know, I just don't think people want this. Like, it's. It's, it's been sold for so long in the 90s, in the 2000s, in the 2010s, and now Apple's doing it. You know, maybe this time it's different that because Apple is such a huge, massive company, but I don't know, man. Maybe it's not. Maybe it'll just end up being like all of the rest of the companies that tried getting people to wear like these VR headset things. And, you know, even Casey Neistat made a video about it and was like, yeah, this is like a peek into the future, but in like 2010, was it 2010 or 2012 or something like that, Google came out with like these glasses that, that did kind of the same thing, you know, except it didn't, it wasn't like um, completely blocked out a screen and a camera, it was more of just a lens and then you know, a little screen in the inside the lens. But still, it's mostly just the same idea, you know, which is getting people to wear these things that give people access to overlaid information. Uh, GUI, you know, like, I think it's not gonna work, you know? Maybe if Apple comes out with uh, holog 
holographic displays, that's probably gonna be a little bit more palat palatable than this, you know, like the, the Star Wars holographic display type technology. Things that people don't have to wear. Something that somebody could just carry or install or, or put in their car or it's like built in into their car or just built into, into the things that they already have. Like built in, in, built in into the phone. Um, you know, I think that's where the future lies. I don't know about this uh, AR or goggles thing. It's been, it's been tried and tested, and every single time, it seems to like not catch on like these companies wanted to. And unfortunately, I just think Apple is doing the same thing. It's not going to catch on. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Um, that's it for today. Uh, that's my thoughts on the uh, the new Apple, the new Apple thing, Apple Vision, Apple goggles, spatial display. Uh, you know, I was actually at the Apple store the other day, and they did not like. I was like, "Hey, when's the new headset come out?" They didn't like that. They were like, "What are you talking about, headset?" Like, they were like, "Spatial computer." I'm like, Who's gonna call it spatial computer? Besides Apple, of course. It's a headset. You put it in your head, it covers your face. It's a face set. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's just my two cents on it. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. That's it for today. Peace.